The rubber room. The rubber room is a real thing. The rubber room is not for the mentally ill. It's not some kind of crazy sex romp. The rubber room is a place that teachers go if they get in trouble. The rubber room is the slang term for it, but the real name is Temporary Reassignment Center. $35 million a year, and that's lowballing it. It can be from anywhere from $35 to $60 million a year. Taxpayers are paying these teachers their salaries, and they do nothing in these rooms. They show up, and they're supervised for an eight, like however many hours teachers work. They still get paid while they await their trial. And the average teacher in these rubber rooms are there for a, an average of 18 months months. Some people have been known to stay there for eight to ten years, which is unbelievable to me. You can be accused of molestation, drug charges, being late too many times, being too overly aggressive with a student. Rubber rooms are a big place of contention and it's a problem in our school system because the teacher unions, they have lawyers who really draw these hearings out for a super long period of time. So these teachers get put in a waiting room to await their trial, but the trials take so long because the system is broken. I'm in a show right now called The Rubber Room. I'm really excited about it, and I open tomorrow night, Friday, February 11th at 7 p.m., and it's going to be at Theater 54, which is at Shetler Studios on 54th Street between 7th and 8th Avenue. It's by Gary Garrison and Roland Tech, who are some wonderful playwrights who have written this show specifically for this project. The producing company is called Artistic New Directions. It's one play with five casts of the same play. It runs through the 20th of February and I'm in five performances. Down in the underbar, please check out what nights I'm performing. If you are local and live in New York City, come and see me. Tickets are $16. Click down below to try and go buy tickets if you want to. They've got five different directors with five different casts. And so every night they call five new actors to the stage. So I'm going to be on stage with five people, well, four people, who I've never met before, ever. We've We've never gotten a chance to talk about process. We haven't been able to see other people rehearse. We don't even know who's performing in the show other than the people that we've been rehearsing with. And the thing that really sucks but is cool is that the cast that I've been rehearsing with for the last month, I don't get to perform with any of them, which is so weird because we we sort of bonded and now we never actually get to have like, you know, the climax of things, which is too bad. It's a really great show. I'm really proud of the work that's happening. I have no idea what's going to happen because it's not an improvised script. It's a real script, but we are going to be improvising our blocking and it's going to be with people that you haven't built that trust with. It's going to be really exciting to see what happens. If you're a parent or if you have a niece or a nephew or brothers and sisters who are in the school system, it's a really enlightening look at five people having frank discussions about something that's affecting them directly in their lives. You should come and see it. It's really thought-provoking. So there are able-bodied teachers all over the city who are sitting there awaiting trial who could be or could not be innocent or guilty and get tied up in this crazy bureaucracy and so nothing is actually being done for the good of the kids and that's the real problem. This play explores that. It explores why people would want to be involved in a, in a system that doesn't have respect for their teachers and... and and also respect for our children.